Welcome to a special Tea of the Day! Today I've uh, had a couple requests to show how I do fresh herbs when I make a tea. So uh, I think it's pretty simple, but I guess there are a couple little tricks to this when it comes down to it. So uh, let's get started. Today what I've decided to do is an oregano with uh, lemongrass and uh, lemon thyme. So, um, what I usually do is like you want to try and balance this out properly. When you've got a uh, stronger herb, you don't want to use too much. So, like if I had um, some sage in this, I would for what this is, which is like one and a half cups, maybe to two cups, and this size strainer, I would only use like maybe three to five leaves. Okay, so three to five sage leaves. Any of the stronger ones, with stuff like this, when they have the smaller leaves. It's, uh, it's actually using like three sprigs. So I've got three separate sprigs here. And what I do is you just pop the leaves off, drop them on in there. Do, 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 do. Of course, if you know, depending on the situation, you want to make sure that you've already washed these before you put them in. That's a given. Ooh, drop those sprigs down there. And then uh, same thing with the lemon thyme. I'll take like the three or five of these whole ones and I'll just strip them down um, if the uh, top stocks are like wow these ones are a little bit older so I can kind of just easily pop them off it's more almost like using dry herbs because these are so old at the moment Whee. But uh, with the lemon thyme, because they're so small, I tend to use a lot more. So as you can see, that's like a good six sprigs there I've used already. And bam, there's another one. And I'm gonna use my last oregano here. Let's toss it on in, shaboom. And then with these, um, I'll usually take about a third of it, maybe. So I'll come in here and uh, if it's like the bottom part, you'll take, you can take a little bit less because it's wider, obviously. But if I'm going from the top, I'll be like, okay, let's go about right there. So, yeah, it's about a third. And then what I'll do from there is I'll take it and just do some cuts along it, like this. Yeah, you can't see that very well. And just keep doing every bunch of little cuts like that. And then one, one or two cuts along this way. But generally, I like to let it stay together but just enough to like basically get in there so you can get the uh, juices coming out of it and separate it out a little bit once you start putting it in there. So like that. Yeah, you just pop it out. And then you just drop the whole thing in there because it's all good, you can use it all. And if there's any that's falling out, you just sweep it all in. So overall, you can see there that the strainers may be a third full. I mean, I, I've done some where I've gone a little bit fuller than this, you can, but that's about it. Um, I preheated this sucker, so let's turn it back on and get some tea going. Woo! Okay, so our water's hot. In this case, I use a full boil because there's nothing in here that needs to be at only 80 degrees or um, that's Celsius after all. Um, we're like 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know there's like some blends with uh, like the, the one I have uh, that's like a mint, uh, nettle, and lemongrass, which is uh, not far from this. Um, that one says 90 degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, you can go a little bit cooler if you want. It's not like at the end of the day gonna kill it. It's a more a matter of like what it's doing to the nutrients of it. So if you're wanting to be safe, you can go a little bit lower, but generally for most of these herbs you can go up to 100 degrees or for full boiling Fahrenheit 212 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, it'll be perfectly fine from there um, it's really a matter of preference for how strong you want it um, it, de and it also depends on the strength of the herb in itself uh, from the beginning so really strong herbs like the sage you really don't want to go much longer than three or four minutes and uh, for a lot of the other ones though that are more subtle like the thyme ones and the lemon ones, uh, you can go up to five to eight minutes, really. Mmm, yes, definitely good. Oh yeah, here's one more tip for you. 
if you uh, don't have a way to store your herbs f uh, fresh, like if you just did a fresh cutting from one of your plants, and you, what you can do is just put it in a cup with some water and let it sit on the windowsill. And you, you know, from that, you could end up creating a whole new plant if you want, or you can just let it stay in there to stay fresh before you use it for your tea and such. Otherwise, if you're gonna be um, have it like this, when I get it from the store, um, like I don't have lemongrass at the moment, so I just buy the lemongrass from the store. What I do is I'll take a paper towel and I'll just damp it very lightly with some water. And then I'll take these and I'll wrap them on up there and put them back in the package. And they store really well. I mean, usually with these, they like say the date, um, like on this one is May 31st, but I can end up using these like a good week to two weeks after that date, most often than not. So yeah, it's easy to do. I still have to wait for the tea. I can only wait for so long. So this has only gone about maybe four minutes now. Aww. Drain. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Woo, that's hot. Hot. That was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's a nice blend. I like it. Actually, I feel like I could have maybe used a touch more oregano on this. Um, like I said, it's like if you want to be bold, you can use more. If you're wanting to be subtle, you know, just go easy. Don't push it too hard. That was three good sized sprigs of about this long of oregano. And that, you know, Nick balanced off with the two different lemony flavors. It's still not quite enough because that's two different herbs that have lemon flavor in them. So you're having to make it so if you're using that much lemon, you have to use a little bit more for that flavor to come back out. So um, I thought it was pretty close, but yeah, it was because considering how small the leaves are, it can't quite hold its own. I mean, if that was sage, I would still be feeling a good amount of sage with this if it was five leaves. Because that stuff's so strong when it, by itself. Hmm. But yeah, I think it can still use a little more brew time, officially, with these ones in particular. That uh, I think if as much as anything, I might just go... Boop. You take some more time to for me because uh, it's not quite strong enough for me yet but there you go that's my quick little example um, if you have any other thoughts or questions about it uh, feel free to let me know and uh, make a comment and yeah till next time have a happy tea day